Hello, I'm going to show you how to make bubbles as much as you want today and the basic ingredients for that is resin. Some of you guys already know about this recipe, which is a non-GMO and comes from soy. And absolutely, it is one of the basic texturizer in molecular gastronomy. And today, I'm going to show you how to make foams as much as possible. We prepare the saline water here. Alright, I just put the rest of it into water and now I'm going to mix them together with immersion blender. I just used an immersion blender just to mix them together very well, especially horizontally. But this time, I'm gonna just put the air into the last in water because make it foam. I just was able to make a stable foam just like this. That was the most basic techniques for making air foam using an imagine blender. That was the easy and simple way to make foams using an immersion blender, but this time um, it's a little different from this. It's a foamier and more stable foams is going to be made. I've got a special air foam kit which is wireless. The reason why I'm using this kit is that uh, you can make um, foamy and stable and more pure for me relatively like more than an immersion blender and it's definitely a qualified for food this is one of the easiest ways to use this uh, all you need to do is just put the tear into the listening water and push the button and you can check the bubbles creating as much as possible As you can notice it, you can make much bubbles as much as possible or as much as you can. And look at this foam. It's a very airy and stable foam. More than the foams made with an immersion blender. Isn't it a beautiful foam? And once a quite big amount of foam made on top, you can just use it by yourself just right away. There's a ton of texturizing skills in molecular gastronomy, but this was the most light foam making skill. Uh, which is very basic. Just as I did, you can make your dish fancier and richer.